This is the chicken maharaja. I guess it's like their Big Mac. It must be. There's a lot of bun here. Oh my god. I don't think this is the same sauce they use in a Big Mac. It can't be. It's chicken. It's not beef, but what can you do? This is this is amazing. This is this is American opulence exported to India at its finest. This is just like, yeah, let's just put all of it in there. Like, what the hell? It's actually a lot better than I thought. So here we have the Mikalu tiki burger. Alu potato. Um, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot of potato in here. It's got the McDonald's quality I've come to learn to. Uh... But it looks like a burger in the US, kind of. It's a little sad looking. I don't know what that tastes like. It's got some good, uh, you know, good flavors that I associate with India. What's interesting about this is that I have absolutely no idea what's in, what is in this. The inside of the patty is green, the sauce is orange, and it's covered in onions. And like, you know. There's so many vegetarians in India, obviously they have to make some veg, veg product. 50 cents, so good deal. <laughs> this is the big spicy chicken wrap. This is American size. <laughs> it's confusing how to. I think it's like, Oh! <laughs> it's actually pretty close to what it is in the U.S. A bit more spicy, but... Again, it's all, all the sauces and mayos, it's so much. This might actually be the spiciest thing I've ever eaten at McDonald's. And it's like this creeping one that's like coming up the back of my mouth. This is a 100% paneer passion McSpicy. I still love that they put the mick in front of everything. Mick paneer, okay. Kind of looks like a deep fried French toast. This is a giant hash brown. The cheese, I guess it's a cheese patty. And we've got the McDonald's India token mysterious orange sauce. Oh wow, that's spicy. <laughs> oh, there's the spice. This is food that you would like just eat in bed at like three in the morning. The paneer is a little weird, but I guess it's kind of like tofu in that way. It just takes on the flavor of whatever is on top of it. This is something that I think could possibly be successful in the US. I feel like McDonald's India was like literally put together by someone just perusing the Wikipedia article for Indian food and like putting a mick in front of it. 